Within this training, we will discuss timekeeper services and related actions within the Enterprise Services Portal. We will cover topics such as timekeeper and master timekeeper roles and responsibilities, timekeeper processes, pay cap waivers, leave audits, and finally, we will conclude with a demonstration of how to access and accomplish select tasks within the portal. Different WebTA users play different roles in Enterprise Services time and attendance processes. During this video, we'll focus primarily on timekeeper responsibilities. Timekeeper responsibilities include three key buckets. Completing new employees' WebTA timesheet profiles, supporting timely and accurate time and leave submission, and answering time and attendance questions. Master timekeeper responsibilities include the three key timekeeper buckets, completing new employees' WebTA timesheet profiles, supporting timely and accurate time and leave submission, and answering time and attendance questions, as well as the additional responsibilities displayed here. Enterprise Services creates a new employee's WebTA profile within one week of the employee's EOD. If the employee's profile is not created within this time period, Timekeeper should submit a ticket in the portal. Once it is created, the supervisors will coordinate with the employee and the timekeeper to gather information and complete the profile. Please note, ES will populate the status change and date fields in the new employee's WebTA profile on behalf of timekeepers. By default, Enterprise Services assigns the employee to the supervisor's timekeeper. If the employee reports to a different timekeeper, that timekeeper should utilize employee takeover and WebTA to reassign the employee. Supervisors, portal proxies, and timekeepers should use the Enterprise Services Portal to request an employee receive WebTA privileged user access, including timekeeper, master timekeeper, supervisor, master supervisor, or HR administrator access. Note, employees cannot submit their own WebTA privileged user access requests. However, they can access the WebTA Privileged User Access Request form via the portal. As a reminder, employees should direct time and attendance questions to their timekeeper. Depending on the question, timekeepers may coordinate with the employee's supervisor or they may submit an Ask HR a Question ticket in the portal. Employees, supervisors, and timekeepers have important roles to play in submitting and certifying timesheets in WebTA. A supervisor certifies the accuracy of the employee's time on the first Monday of the next pay period by 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Then, beginning on the Tuesday following the end of the pay period, the timekeeper pulls the uncertified timesheet report from WebTA by 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The timekeeper coordinates with the employee to finalize the timesheet by 3 p.m. Eastern Time that day. And finally, Enterprise Services will also notify the timekeeper by 12 p.m. Eastern Time on the same day to coordinate with the employee or supervisor for resolution. Timekeepers and Enterprise Services play key roles in the enterprise-wide process for initiating employees, supervisors, and processing pay cap waivers. The supervisor or timekeeper submits the pay cap waiver request via the ES portal by the first Friday of the pay period at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. This request will include line and staff office, employee name, and an approval memo with the pay exception documented. If an employee identifies a discrepancy in their leave balances, they may coordinate with their timekeeper to submit a leave audit request via the portal. Generally, a leave audit is conducted to validate that NFC and WebTA are accruing leave hours correctly. Depending on whether a leave error is more or less than 52 weeks, Conduct a leave audit via WebTA following the respective process outlined here. Now we will walk through how some of these actions appear within the portal. For the purposes of this video, we will demonstrate two of the primary timekeeper responsibilities, timekeeper inquiries and privileged user access. Employees are instructed to contact their timekeeper with any time and attendance inquiries, not enterprise services. When an employee submits an inquiry, the timekeeper then decides if they have the knowledge and resources to resolve the issue. If additional assistance is required, the timekeeper submits an inquiry via an Ask an HR Question ticket in the Enterprise Services Portal. Click Ask a Question, Ask HR a Question, then choose the relevant topic 
and enter details about the question at hand and click submit. To grant privileged user access to an employee, a supervisor must first identify a business need for their employee to have privileged user access, such as timekeeper access, in WebTA. If the business need exists, supervisors can navigate to the request or modify privileged user access service request page. They can access it this way or via the search bar on the home page. The supervisor instructs the employee to complete the WebTA privileged user access request form, including the WebTA standards of acceptable system use and account approval, as well as the WebTA access details. The supervisor receives the employee's WebTA privileged user access request form, signs it, and submits this request modify privileged user access request via the portal. Enterprise Services reviews the request and grants the appropriate WebTA access. Enterprise Services notifies the supervisor and the employee that that access has been granted. Please note, Enterprise Services will work with Bureau points of contact as needed to complete the biannual audit of WebTA privileged user roles to make sure that all privileged users still require their access roles. For more information on these or other timekeeper responsibilities, please reference the available time and attendance training by user type located on the Commerce Learning Center. Thank you for joining us today. Check out more resources on the Enterprise Services Portal.